Hey there and welcome back to my PC Demons tutorial series. Today we'll be talking about labels, all the different types, display options, and what we can do with those labels. Using the graphic items toolbar allows us to toggle our labels on and off, showing all the different types. So I have mine hidden. If you want to see all of them, we can toggle them all on with this button. It's a bit of a mess. Let's disable that, hide all the labels. first button is feature labels, so that's pretty common, most of you have seen these already. The next type is point info labels, so I just have some information on those six points, in this case x, y, and z coordinates, let's hide that. The next type is feature control frame labels, if you happen to have that type of dimension in your, in your part program. Next type is dimension info labels. So those are the dimensions that I have associated with those four circles, distance and location. Let's hide that as well. Okay, so let's go back to our feature labels, that's the most common type. So I'll show you a few little tricks you can do with these labels I think you'll find useful. If we right click a label, we have a number of options here to hide it, to show it, one of my favorite options is the move cursor to. So what this does is quickly allows you to locate that feature in the edit window. Another option when you right click a label is to select edit and that will open up the auto feature dialog and the feature properties for that label. So you don't necessarily need to do this from the edit window, you can just do it from a label. So that's a nice little shortcut. You can hide labels individually. And another option to organize some of the clutter is to just right click a label, select label processing, and automatic label positioning. So that puts all the labels neatly around in a border, cleaning up your screen. If you want to return them to where you originally had them, you just right click a label, any label, and just select reset all IDs and it goes back to the original positioning when you first created that feature. So that's just a quick little tutorial, some little tricks and tips. Um, I invite you to explore some of this and just play around with it and get your labels working for you. Okay, well, thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time. Hey, so while I've still got your attention, I just wanted to take a moment to promote our e-learning training program. If you like my tech tips, then you may want to check out our series of instructional e-learning videos. Our CMM e-learning courses are internet-based and cover the complete PCDMS training courses from start to finish. This will be the same material covered in our classroom training, with the added convenience of allowing you to view them whenever and wherever you want. For more information, please visit the training section of our website.